Hey everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 8 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. So, as usual, here we are the morning after where we left off last time, and Lucille is cooking some pancakes for her and Stanley to have her breakfast. And it is Saturday morning in the game, which means that he doesn't have to work, so you know, they're both home this day and the next day. And like I said in the last part, I'm going to have them get a kitten in this part, so I think I'm going to do that right after they both eat breakfast. And I'm actually really excited to get them, you know, their first pet. And, you know, I'm glad that people wanted me to get a cat instead of a dog. And it looks like we have our first round of bills to pay. And she also reached level 2 of cooking, which is good, because I want her to be really good at cooking. And he is taking care of Thomas. And I'm actually going to get a picture of this, you know, now that he's a toddler. And I should probably put the walls up. What did... Oh, I guess she left the food in the oven. Um, hopefully she doesn't let it burn, but I'm gonna put the walls up so we actually don't see her over there in the bathroom doing whatever she's doing in there. There we go, that's a nice picture. Yeah, so let me get, I haven't gotten a close-up of his face yet. Um, it's kind of hard to tell who he takes after at this point, but obviously we're gonna find that out more later. Um, I'm guessing he probably takes more after his father because, you know, he has his um, grandparents on his father's side's genetics. But, let's see, um, we should have him give him some food because he's getting a little hungry and hopefully they um, hopefully have some room I think I'll have some room for the kitten stuff I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the litter box at I might uh, get rid of this dresser or move it in here I don't know um, and put the litter box in the bathroom and then um, put the food bowl somewhere in here but I definitely do need to try and add on to this house a little bit at some point and let's have him get some breakfast and then we'll have her get, you know, her breakfast as usual, or, <laughs> I don't know, it's always exciting watching them eat. And then I'm going to have her get the kitten, because I think the person who, you know, makes the call to adopt usually has a closer relationship, and I want the cat to be, like, her, her little buddy, you know, since she's the one home more. So I'll actually have him clean up. And then put the leftovers away. Oh, and they both, um, they both have a wish to have another child. So I'm actually going to have her get pregnant again this part, uh, later on. Let's see, is he good? Um, oh! Oh, crap. I never got the, uh, the potty training stuff. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to... I'm actually going to get the, uh, while I'm in build mode, I'm going to get the stuff for the kitten. Crap. Uh... You know what? Um, do we... Do we even need a dresser or... Hmm... Yeah, this this really isn't a very big house at all. Maybe I can... This won't go there, obviously. Uh... Hmm... You know, I'm just gonna get rid of the dresser. Um, I don't know, I'll buy another one. Hopefully they don't need it anytime soon. Um, you know, I'll buy a new one once they add on to it. Actually, you know what? To save money, I should probably just drop it in here. There we go. So now, get some kid stuff. So now I'm just gonna get this and stick it in here, right there next to the real toilet. And let me get the cat toilet and put that right there. So we got all the all the bathroom stuff for everyone in the bathroom. And then uh, whatever I need a scratching post. Ugh, this this house. Let's stick it right there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna have to add on to the house a little bit before they have their next kid. Uh, I hope they don't end up with twins because they gave her the uh, fertility treatment thing. Let me get this thing and some toys right there. All right. So that should be good. So I think we're all prepared for the kitten. Oh, and I also needed to get some of the little learning toys. Uh, these things. Great. Let's stick them right here. <laughs> Oh, this place is... okay, Lucille needs to move. Let's just go here. There we go. This, uh, this place is so... <laughs> so cluttered. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. So, I'm gonna have her start on potty training him. So if he doesn't pee... ah, great. Didn't make it. Oh, well, hopefully he doesn't... I can. I mean, it's it's still good if I can at least potty train a little bit. And, oh, I should probably even call the repair technician for that. 
Or, you know, I should have him unclog it. Alright, so we got a little bit of their potty training done, and... <laughs> Let's change that. And then we'll just plop him down over here. And take care of that, because that's gross. And then he can... he can start playing with this. Alright, looks like the toilet's taken care of. Let's have him also clean it. And then as soon as she uh, she takes care of that, I'm gonna have her call and get their new kitten. Now I also have to have her garden. Ooh, whoops. I also have to have her garden at some point too, but let's uh, let's get that little kitten. So let's see. Ah, oh, crap. Where was it? <laughs> Services. Uh, call for serv- oh wait, no! Wrong thing. Okay, so services, adopt pet from shelter. And we want a little kitten- oh, look at that one! Where's it- where are its eyes? <laughs> that kitten doesn't have any eyes. Oh, that one! It's so cute! Oh, look at it! Oh, that one is so adorable. That one- mm. Oh, this... hmm. Okay, so this one's adorable. I like the way this one looks, but then this one has the hunter trait, which is very useful. Hmm, so do I go for... do I go for the one that looks how I want it to, or do I go for the one with the trait that I want? I'm sure this one will be cute too, but... ah, uh, or do I get both? No, we can't have... do I want to... ah... Uh, <laughs> decisions, decisions. You know what, maybe... ah... <sighs> hmm... You know what, maybe? I can just get two kittens. So I'm gonna get this one, Baxter. You know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get two cats. So we're gonna get this one named Baxter. And I'm gonna name this one Fluff. Which, um, someone suggested that and I thought it was adorable. And also, you know, since this is in the 1950s, I'm trying to go with names that aren't, you know, people names because that wasn't really a common thing until more recently to you know, give pets usually just had kind of like cutesy names like Fluffy or Pumpkin and stuff like that. So we're gonna name this guy Fluff. And I guess a boy cat can be named Fluff. I think that's fine. So what's she gonna do? She's gonna go admire his handiness skill. Let's see, can they adopt another one now? Or do I have to wait some services? Ah, okay. Okay, so after after he comes in, I'm gonna go and adopt another one. So yeah, I was only planning on one cat, but I just I couldn't decide. Whoa, what? Wow, <laughs> these two. <laughs> like I swear, they're just such a cute couple. Like like I said in the last part, I just have some couples where like they never do any romantic interactions unless I make them. But these two just I don't even have to do anything, and they're just they're on it. They're just like that, the perfect cliche 1950s couple. <laughs> so when's the little kitten gonna arrive? Kitten number one. <laughs> oh, I should fill the food bowl. Where are you? Oh, there they are! Fluff. There's little Fluff. Where are you? There you are. Let's look at this. Let's look at this adorableness. Oh, I think Fluff was a good name for this one because look, it's so freaking fluffy. It's so fluffy. Oh, and it has blue eyes. Ah, uh, Fluff. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking at the. No! Oh my god, no, no, no. Don't, don't scratch it. I was like, oh. Okay. Um. <sighs> Yay. Okay, do we Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Let's see, where's Fluff? Where's Fluff in here? Fluff. <laughs> oh, he's just so cute. I know I, I 
I'm just, I just, I just cannot contain my excitement over his cuteness. Okay, I'm gonna go and adopt the other one now. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a cat person, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. I just, I really like cats. So, whoa, that was a little weird. I hope Susie's still- I think Susie was its name. Yes! And then there's a new one. No, I like Susie. We're gonna get her. So she has a neat trait, so hopefully she'll be good kitty. I think um, the one that we just got was- had noisy, which isn't that bad of a trait, but we're gonna get Susie. And I'm gonna name her Pumpkin because she's orange. So yeah, and Fluff and Pumpkin were both names that um some of the two of the names that you guys suggested. So we got a boy and a girl cat. Um so yeah, someone else also said something about having like, you know, getting two cats and having them have kittens and having a little cat family. So maybe I don't know, maybe I'll make them have kittens at some point, but if they have five kids and that means I can only have three pets. So I don't know, I guess maybe I could still have them have kittens, but only keep one of them and, you know, put the other two up for other- whatever other ones are in addition to that, up for adoption. So what are you doing, Fluff? Be startled? What are you- where are you going? <laughs> okay, you need a- you need to come back in here. And we should probably check on him. What are these two doing? Oh, you know, I'm gonna have him, let's have him teach him to talk. Oh, we should have you, you should eat. Oh, look at that, oh wait, let me, look at that face, it's so cute. I'm sorry, I don't want to be one of those people who's like, oh, look at that, it's so adorable, but... I mean, it's kittens. You you can't deny that kittens are cute. So now it looks like Pumpkin is here. Where is your face? I want to see your face. There, oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so glad I got her. She's adorable. Look at that. Look at that face. Ah. <laughs> oh. I'm glad I got them two kittens. Be picked up. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. I meant to stay. I meant to focus on him. Why why does he have eyebrow piercings? I thought I got rid of that. He kept popping up with eyebrow piercings. I swear I got rid of I I need to fix that. <laughs> uh maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that dresser. Alright, so let's let's get a close up look at little pumpkin. Ah! Look at that. Alright, so hopefully hopefully these kittens are uh, well behaved and they don't tear up things too much. But um, I'm actually gonna save my game really quick because I don't want it to crash and lose these little guys. Alright, so it looks like Pumpkin is hungry so... Okay, so she's already going over to her bowl. What is Fluff doing? Fluff is just hanging out over there. Um, and how is he? She actually. What is is one of them meowing? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, pff. he's he, he's yelling along to the music. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's so much cuteness going on right now. Ah. Oh. They're just. Oh, I, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop going like, oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's give him a bottle of food. Did he even teach him to... Because I thought I had him teach him to talk, but watch pet sing along. <laughs> oh, yeah, he had the noisy trait, didn't he? Yeah, so he's playful, hunter, and noisy. And she's just neat. So she's a pretty well-behaved cat. And I guess so is he. But he'll be useful for hunting. And then I just got her because she's cute. <laughs> okay, so you need to stop that so your mother can feed you. And then 
We need to try and potty train him again because he's approaching to where, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> he's gonna go. <laughs> so what is she doing? A flirtatious joke. She's just flirting with her husband some more. Uh, okay, potty train. Ralph Marf- Ralph Mouth would like to- okay, sure. Oh, I also need to have her garden some. She did not garden all today because so preoccupied. <laughs> this day was pretty much taken up by um, getting the kittens. Are you? What are you doing now? Oh, now they're interacting. I must get a picture of this if I can get the damn camera around. Okay. Once that thing goes away. Uh, <laughs> oh, she has a little bobcat tail, too! Oh, that just makes it even better. Look at her, she looks like a little bobcat. And he's sleeping. Oh, I didn't get them pet beds. Oh, well. Um, they need a bigger house first. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to add on to this soon. Alright, so it looks like she potty trained him some, and he's getting kind of tired, so I'm just gonna go and stick him in the crib. And then have her take care of some gardening. So, why can't you not- why can you not tend the guard? Okay. There we go. Alright. And then we'll have him get some food. Cause he's a little hungry. Did I even have him eat it all after breakfast today? I don't think I did. So hopefully these- I think these plants are gonna go dormant soon, um, unfortunately. So we'll just have her take care of that, and yeah, after he eats, he needs to go to bed. So we're just gonna have him do that. And then, are you done? Oh wait, are these, are these dormant now? Because it says harvest, so why can you not harvest it? Uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna have her take a shower, eat some food, and then go to bed. Uh, for some reason, I kept having this glitch where whenever it was, whenever it went to winter, and you know the plants went dormant, I would pretty much have to throw them away because it would say they were in harvest, but then I couldn't plant anything. I mean, I couldn't pick them at all. So I think it was like a glitch where if they were in harvest when they went dormant, it just the plants had. I had to get rid of them. So I guess that that was never patched. So I still have that issue, unfortunately. Which I don't know. I'm probably going to make a greenhouse at some point. But they unfortunately don't have a lot of money. And yeah, I am just gonna have her sleep. So I'll see you guys once uh, they're up. So Stanley is almost up and I just want to show you guys this. Um, Fluff is just playing on the carpet and it is, it is freaking adorable. He's just kind of rolling around. Um, I just I just had to show you guys this. It's so cute. Look at that little guy. <laughs> and um, what is Pumpkin doing? She's just... She's just scratching. She's being a good girl. We should probably... Oh, no, they're gonna play. Um, we should probably... Let's see if we can... Well, I guess we can't really do anything until he wakes up. So it looks like they're just gonna play with each other. So I just want to see if there's anything. Let's see, reinforcements, gold for... Praise for... Well, she's already neat, so... Um, let's see, what? Is there anything we can reinforce him for? I don't know. I'm, I'm not... I don't really care about them being hyper that much. Okay, so he wants to kiss her. Um, I don't know what those are. Um, hmm. Oh, so I should probably have him pay some pay attention to his son, so let's toss in air and feed him on the floor. And I think today I'm gonna have him and Lucille go on a nice date, and it's also winter and it's snowing outside now. So it looks like there's not going to be any gardening for Lucille for a little while. But I want him to go out somewhere, you know, have a nice date, and then come home and, um, you know, I plan, I plan to never get pregnant with her second child, so. But I think they should go on a date first. What are you doing? Aw. <laughs> so let's see, how are the kittens doing? They're doing pretty good. And Lucille is almost up. She went to bed a little bit later than him. And ooh, their shower is nasty. We're gonna we're gonna have him take care of that because <laughs> that is gross. And then we'll have him get some breakfast, which there's plenty of leftovers. And see, what is he doing? 
I guess when Lucille's up, I'll have her potty train him again. Why can't you- why can't you get breakfast? Oh really? The kitten's blocking you? <clears throat> At least it's not as bad as on The Sims, the original Sims, because I remember one time, um, my kid couldn't get to school and I couldn't figure out why because I used to make these gi ginormous houses and I didn't know where my sim was in it and then I finally found my sim and her father just like falling asleep across a doorway and she couldn't get to school because he was just completely blocking it. I mean I guess in the sims where you get those blocking issues but sims move out of the way a little bit better than they used to. Let's see, we should have you, like I said, you should potty train him instead. Let's see, what do the kittens need? I guess the kittens are easier to take care of than dogs because they tend to just kind of do things on their own more. I don't know, they they don't really pee inside like the dogs do. Should probably answer that. <laughs> After you potty train. So he's actually a good bit of the way to being potty trained. So we'll have her teach him to talk. And he is watching TV. Um, we'll have to have him take a shower at some point. Um, actually, let me... Okay, we'll, we'll have her stop that. And then we'll have him potty train her. Have him... Huh, have her teach him to talk outside of the bathroom. What's she doing? Okay, so she's filling it. Yeah, we have two cats. They'll go through it kind of quick. Yeah, let's have her- okay, so let's have her teach him to talk again. And what are you doing? You're yelling along too. It's so cute, it's just- it's- it's so freaking cute when they do this. <laughs> so let's see, how long does she have? So she ages up in one day. And he ages up in five days, so she's a little bit older than him. And also, something else I forgot to mention, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I'm going to make it the 1960s once both Lucille and Stanley are adults, which will be in, for her, for him, three days, and for her, four days. So they're actually going to, it's actually going to be the 1960s in this game pretty soon. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I might make it a little bit after they- I don't know, cause how long- how long until he ages up? Well, I guess he'll be- he'll be turning into a child about then, so... So yeah, it, you know, like, shortly after they're adults, it'll be the 1960s. Feed treat. Oh, they're both outside. <laughs> be petted. So that's nice that he- whoa, what happened to the pumpkins? Oh man. Oh, it's probably time to get rid of those pumpkins. You know, actually, let's have him- no, I want him to pet the kitten. So she's actually getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna have her stop that and get some food. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna hold off until- they're gonna go to dinner soon, so we'll have her- have her clean this stuff up. Oh man, I really- I still need to get rid of that, um... Oh, and I got rid of the dresser. Alright, I'm just gonna plop the dresser back down so I can fix that, because that's really driving me nuts that he has that, um, eyebrow piercing going on. Oh, crap. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna stick it back to the inventory after I do this anyway, so... So, let's see, plan up it. So I got rid of the pesky eyebrow ring, and now I'm just gonna plop that back up, back into their family inventory. And I'm gonna have them go on their little date now. And that'll, you know, be the last part that I, you know, last thing I do in this part. And really, I guess, um, I cover about two days in each part, but first I'm gonna put some holiday lights on this house. So let's do hanging multicolors. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Alright, so, um, 
Ooh. All right, so let's have them. Let's have them go out somewhere. No, no, no. Crap. Ugh. And once once I put this out, whatever. That doesn't go bad. I'll just I'll just leave that there until they need it again. So I'm gonna have him ask her out on a date, and then I'm gonna have them go out somewhere. So let's let's have her kiss him. No. Ah, oh, would you stop that? Okay, now to put that back in, because you aren't patient. I don't know. She's pretty hungry. I don't blame her for it. And let's have him ask her out on a date. And so then they're gonna have to get a babysitter. Hopefully the babysitter actually does a decent job. Cool, it's chill, all right. Okay, so where should we send them? I don't think the Winter Festival's in town yet. Oh uh, crap, where was the... Where was the Festival Grounds? I think it was over here. I can't even remember where I put it. Um, hmm. First of all, I think it should be somewhere over here. There it is. Okay, yeah, so that's not in yet. Um, let's have them do dinner and a movie. So we'll have them... Let's go somewhere other than Deep Fried Diner. Um, let's go to the nice... Let's go to the bistro and have them eat outside. Snow is too deep. That's lame. Okay, so let's have them go there and eat and then they can go see a movie. And then they can come back home and, you know, woohoo. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? I hope you're not going out in your pajamas. Oh, shoot! I completely forgot to... Oh, shoot. I forgot to change back her, um... Frick. I forgot to change back her formal wear. Oh, man. Um... Shoot. Um, you know, I'm just gonna edit her and create some really quick. So I got their formal wear... I got her formal back to... Formal... Where, sorry, um, back to where it was, so... Now we can finally carry on with our day and she can finally get some food, and we're gonna have to get the babysitter. And hopefully this time the babysitter actually goes inside, because I'm pretty sure the one in the last part just stood outside. Um, because I don't even think he... Because I guess they don't show up in their relationships unless they actually interact with them. Because does he... Oh, she does have... He does have... Okay, but I still don't think she did anything. <laughs> Okay, so I think here they are at the bistro. And they're just gonna go in there and have dinner, so I will see you guys once they're done eating, and then I'll send them off to a movie. Oh, so I got a pop-up that said uh, that another table was singing Happy Birthday and asked if you want to sing along and mind your own business, so I picked Sing Along, and now it says, it turns out that your boss is there celebrating a friend's birthday. Your boss is so impressed by your spirit that you receive an immediate raise. So that's pretty cool, so um, now you know I'll see you once they're actually done. So it looks like they are done eating, and I'm just gonna have her give him another kiss. Um, let's, or Amherst hug. Let's have her give him a hug, and then they're gonna go see a movie. And it looks like the babysitter's not even doing anything because he needs his diaper changed. Oh, she has a faithful reputation. They both have the faithful reputation. So let's go to the movie theater and have him see a movie right here. Yes. All right. What? What? Okay, what can they do? Ah, oh, there's no movie. There's no movie. Great. Um. Okay, fine. Let's uh. You know, let's have them tour the theater. All right. Are you in there yet? Alright, so they're both in there doing their little tour, and ooh, let's instead of having them do it back home, let's have them just go ahead and do it here. So I'm gonna have them try for baby backstage. And let's see if we hear that. Oh. Oh man, I don't think she got pregnant. Okay, so we're gonna have to try again once they get back home. So we're gonna we're gonna have them leave the date and then go back home. So yeah, I'm just gonna have them both go back. Oh, he's already on his way back home. Um, let's go back and see how Thomas is doing. Um, and where's this babysitter? 
Where? What? Oh, there you are. You... What the hell are you doing? You, you aren't even, what are you? Okay, there we go. There we go, now the babysitter's actually doing something. Did you even ch Okay, there we go, change the diapers, so are they gonna put them- put him in the crib? Yes, they are. Alright, that's good. <laughs> they don't even do anything right until they, they come home. What are they- what are you guys doing? Oh, they're greeting! They're greeting them, that's so cute. <laughs> and they're so little, they're buried by the snow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna- we're gonna have him try for a baby again, since it didn't really work out at the theater. Let's see, romantic. No, no, you're not gonna do that yet. Get out of bed. There we go. She now she's actually in the right dress. Okay, so apparently that's good. okay. So <sighs> really, really, okay, fine. There we go. And heat of the moment kiss. And then... Hmm. Let's do dip kiss or... Yeah, let's do dip kiss. And then let's see if they can do it. Alright, let's see if it shows up now. Okay, there we go. Track for baby. So let's see if she actually ends up getting pregnant this time. I always, like, hope- I wonder if, you know, like, she actually did get pregnant but I didn't hear it. Um, it's always kind of annoying when that happens. What are you- What- Where are you going? What are you doing? I don't even- I don't even get this game sometimes. And we'll see if we hear it. Yay, and she's actually she's actually pregnant again. So I think this is a good place to end this part at. And you know, since she's pregnant again, that means it's time to suggest more baby names. So like last time, um, this is the 50s, so you know, suggest your favorite 50s baby names. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Thanks for watching and bye!